All right, guys, as you can see, I got my saddle with me today. Um, I'm using my backpack as my hunting backpack, even though it's not. And I'm out here at the archery range, and we're gonna give this a try. I'm gonna crawl up in a tree with this and see how it goes. I'm on my lunch break now, so I've got limited amount of time. So I'm kind of in a hurry, but we'll get up here. Hopefully we'll get a few shots, shots in with it and just kind of test her out. All right, as you can see, it's definitely a little different. Um, not quite used to it. The tree I'm on is kind of slanting towards the left a little bit and kind of making me want to lean that way. So I'm gonna rotate around the tree a little bit and then get my bow and stuff set up and we'll see kind of how it feels to shoot out of it and if it's manageable. I think it'll be easy. I just need to get used to it and take a few shots. I've got a target down here that's about 25, 30 yards and take a few shots at that and see how it goes. Here it is, 34 yards. We're gonna get back up there and we're gonna try one more and then time to head back to work. That was my fifth, my fifth group out of the saddle, I think. I don't know, I lost count, but I'm working on backside shots. Drop shots is what they're called, working on drop shots. And my groups at 40 aren't great, so definitely have a lot of work to do. It's about a two and a half inch circle. The top left one, my cam hit the tree. That was on the, basically the, we'll call it the strong side drop shot. All right, day three of saddle practice. And today I'm going to work on shooting directly behind me. So we'll get set up here and we'll see how it goes. Yesterday I worked on my drop shots and the day before I worked on, I don't really know what the shot's called, but just kind of standard leaning back and fairly easy. Um, this one should be interesting. It's snowing out here today, so a little bit chilly, snowing in 23 degrees, but we'll get this in, get some shots in, and get back to work. My hands are a little cold, but I think I did all right. I think I pulled one, 
The other ones, pretty sure I got in there. Let's take a look. First round like that, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's definitely tough. I might be a little tall to be doing it. I don't know. Not great. There's tons of movement doing it that way. But I guess I also have to consider that I'll probably be behind the tree on the deer. So I'll be using the tree a bit to protect me so i don't know i'll try it again see how it goes and then i don't know i might have to pass up on those shots we'll see all right can't say i feel phenomenal about that shot so well we might not be taking that one this weekend but i do feel pretty good about the other ones i feel comfortable um I think I could definitely put a shot on a deer, a lethal shot, a good shot, uh, but get loaded up here. Brian's heading to town tonight, and we are going to, ooh, ooh, ooh. we're going to stay in Grand Island, and then we're going to drive in the morning, wake up at like three, drive, and get to the hunting spot and get set up so i'll get back to work here if you guys like this video make sure you leave a comment below make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow us on instagram at the seasons media and also check out our website we've had that up and running for a while now and we do have some stuff in our shop so check that out and follow along as we hunt through this deer season and then waterfowl season but thanks for watching this guys and i'll catch you on the next one